All right, right now, Hurricane Beryl is racing across Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula. It's weakened to a category one strength as it moves across land, but it's still dealing out damaging winds and heavy rain. Beryl is expected to emerge in the Gulf of Mexico tonight. Over the coming days, we could see it regain strength. In the U.S., the National Hurricane Center is warning of life-threatening conditions on Gulf Coast beaches. Beryl's march across the Caribbean killed at least nine people. CNN's Gustavo Valdez joins us live now with more from Atlanta. I know, Gustavo, you've been looking at what's been happening in Mexico. We know that the storm has weakened. It's now Category 1. But that doesn't mean that that doesn't come with strong winds and heavy rain as well. That is correct. And so far, authorities seem to be optimistic. Earlier today, the Minister of uh, Public Safety announced that the worst seems to have passed. They already have crews outside trying to evaluate the damage in the most affected areas, Tulum, Playa del Carmen, Isla Mujeres, all tourist destinations that were affected by this uh, storm. Uh, there, in some places, up to 50 percent of the population lost power. But so far, that seems to be the worst for all the tourists that enjoy of these areas, perhaps the hundreds of flights canceled in the past couple of days is another problem they've seen. But so far, that is the worst of it. But as you've been saying, the, the storm is moving north, north, uh, west a little bit. Uh, the northern part of Mexico could be the next target of barrel. We need to remember that the northern part of Mexico has already seen two tropical storms. They've had some floodings, much needed water in areas that have seen extended drought. But now all the dams, all the lakes have been uh, refilled by the uh, previous storms, so whatever barrel comes could be a problem. All right, Gustavo Valdez, live for us there. Thank you so much. All right, let's bring in CNN meteorologist Elisa Rafa, tracking the storm also from Atlanta as well. Gustavo talked about what was happening around the Yucatan Peninsula, but he did mention that it's heading to the northern part of Mexico and then eventually Texas. Take us through it. Yeah, that's possible for sure. As we go into the later part of the weekend, by Sunday, we could be looking at a landfall somewhere uh, between northern Mexico and southern Texas. Uh, right now, we have 85 mile per hour winds in this Category 1 storm that may landfall near Tulum. Uh, still looking at some hurricane force winds, storm surge up to three feet or one meter possible as we continue through the day today because you still have this onshore wind coming onto the peninsula. Uh, you have a spinning hurricane there. We could still find some rain totals up to about 10 inches across part of the uh, peninsula here. That's uh, more than 250 millimeters. That could cause some flash flooding. And then here comes that trek of some of that rain that Gustavo was mentioning that could be for parts of northern Mexico or going into southern Texas, looking at additional heavy rain possible there from Corpus Christi, again, down across the border, four to six inches, uh, more than 150 millimeters of rain, again, could cause some flooding concerns. So we get back into the Gulf of Mexico on the overnight tonight over very very warm waters, so that's where things can reorganize a little bit before they head to that Texas-Mexico coastline uh, by Sunday, Sunday night, Monday morning. We've been talking about really warm waters with this storm the entire way. It's why Barrow has been able to intensify multiple times, and we're looking at that again as we go into the weekend before it makes that, you know, Mexico-U.S. landfall uh, here. We've been watching this dome of high pressure pretty closely. As this weakens and moves to the east, that's what's creating this turn to the north, this turn towards northern uh, Mexico and going into Texas as we go into the weekend. So it's something that we're eyeing very closely uh, with this forecast here. Again, it exits as a tropical storm off of the Yucatan Peninsula tonight. A tropical storm there in the open warm waters. And then we do have that reintensification in the forecast, taking it back to hurricane status by uh, late Sunday into Monday with additional uh, life threatening conditions possible for storm surge, heavy rain, and at least tropical uh, storm force wind gusts uh, along the coastline there. Regardless of where this makes exact landfall, we're talking about rip current conditions for all of these beaches along the Gulf Coast coast on a holiday weekend. So it's an incredibly dangerous thing. We've already lost a couple of lives this year already to rip currents. Remember, a rip current is a current that takes you out to sea. So it is incredibly hard to fight it. You need to swim faster than an Olympic swimmer to fight it this way. So the way to get out of it is to swim par parallel to the shore. Once you do that, it's easier to get out of the rip and you can make it back safely to the coast. Things beachgoers need to remember this weekend. Zane. All right, Lisa Rafa, life for us there. Thank you.
And CNN has gathered a list of vetted organizations that are on the ground helping victims of Hurricane Beryl. You can find details on how you can help at a special section of our website. You can go to cnn.com slash impact, cnn.com slash impact.